I know every week there is a new AI video tool that comes out that is a complete like mind bending game changer. This week there is a complete mind bending game changer. Check this out. Look, what? watch, watch. What? <laughs> That's insane. Look at this. That is crazy. Today we're taking a look at Wonder Studio from Wonder Dynamics, an AI tool that will compose, light, animate CG characters into a live action scene. But it's offering a lot more than just that, a lot of stuff on the professional level. So I'm gonna go into all of that, plus I'm gonna let you know who's behind Wonder Dynamic, which I think is gonna illustrate exactly what gives them a leg up in the AI video space. So here's their video. The link is below if you wanna check it out with their voiceover. So let's take a look here. Okay, this is the opening shot. It looks very nice. Definitely professionally shot with a professional cinematographer. All right, here's their UI, dragging a character in from the side. It looks like you can scrub through the timeline, I guess it looks, and assign characters. Interesting. All right, here's a render module. And wow, look at that. That is pretty crazy. Really nice. We're gonna take a closer look into that video, but I did wanna point out the fact that this is browser-based. Um, this is all like cloud-based AI. Um, when I initially saw the video, I thought it was like an After Effects plugin. No, it's not, it's, it's browser-based. All right, let's head back to the video and take a look. Okay, it looks like on this side, we've got our uploaded video clips um, up to two minutes and 40 seconds. So that's actually pretty good. I mean, Presumably, maybe more, I don't know. Um, but at least up to two minutes and 40 seconds. We've got a library and assets right here and a timeline that looks very Final Cut-like to me. Um, you can add in new clips, I guess, here. And on this side, we've got character models. Initially, I was thinking like, oh, maybe this is a bit gimmicky because it's just, you know, you can only use their provided character models. But we'll see in a minute. No, no, you can pretty much use anything. There's a lot that you can do with this. You can export as an MP4 and it looks like PNG sequences are available as an upgrade. You know, I mean, I get that they're not giving this away for free. Uh, and ProRes files. So those are professional formats. Interesting, right? And then you can export individual elements, blender scenes, camera tracking, camera pass. We're gonna get into all of that in just a minute. That's crazy. The 3D rigging here looks really good. Um, this is gonna be a huge time saver for 3D artists. The facial recognition looks really crazy too. Look at that, that is so good. And I wanted to come back to this, check this out. This is really cool because you can actually see the actor's feet kicking up sand here. So there's no trace of the actor. That's really nuts. But the clean plate is super crazy because at first I was like, did they shoot a clean plate for this? But how did they do that? Because it was a handheld. Um, but yeah, if you look, when you switch over to that clean plate, you can actually see just a little bit of blur there where the actor was. Um, that should show up hopefully in the YouTube video, but yeah, there's just a little bit happening there. So that is AI processed. Um, yeah, that's crazy. It's crazy good. So Wonder Studios is clearly aiming for filmmakers, content creators, and people that are working at a semi to professional level. So while the UI has a simplicity to it so that, you know, kids can pick it up and just start making, you know, YouTube shorts off of it, the back end of it can export into industry standards like Blender, Unreal, and Maya. It looks like there are depth maps uh, in the lighting composition tab. The face recognition looks really good, although a lot of that depends obviously on how well the model is rigged, but there's an interesting thing coming up in a minute on that part. It looks like the AI will recognize, you know, two characters in a scene. I did note that I haven't seen anything in this footage that shows two characters replaced with 3D characters in any one shot. So I don't know if that's something that they haven't quite figured out yet. Hands mocap looks really good. Hands are always a thing that is notoriously tough with AI. Uh, Mid-journey, I'm looking at you. As far as character models, it looks like they have sort of these generic, you know, kind of templated characters. But what's interesting is that it looks like maybe there will be an artist hub or an artist community where 3D artists can create models and maybe sell them on some sort of marketplace. That said, according to Wonder Studios, we want artists to create their own. You get your FBX and your textures and it's assembled on the platform, just like you would import in Blender or Unreal or whatever else it is. Models can also be made available for purchase on the platform. So. I think that there will be a marketplace aspect to Wonder Studios. 
It's interesting to take a look at who's behind Wonder Studios. It's a guy named Nikola Todorovic and Ty Sheridan. Ty Sheridan, you might remember, was the lead in Ready Player One. And on the advisory board, we have none other than Steven Spielberg and Joe Russo of the Russo Brothers. I guess his brother didn't join, it's just Joe Russo. Also Robert Schwab and Joshua Bear, which means that there's some good financial backing behind this. It looks like we'll be able to see Wonder Studios in action with the Russo Brothers' new Netflix adaptation of Stellan Stallenhog's uh, The Electric Slate, since they use the technology in production on that film. Actually, I didn't know this movie was happening. I'm actually a big fan of Tales from the Loop, so yeah, this is cool. I'm excited to watch this. Wonder Studios is in closed beta right now. You can sign up to request access for it at the link that I have down below. Uh, I requested access. I don't know if they're interested in small time YouTubers trying it out, but you know, you never know. Give it a shot. You should give it a shot too. And if you're interested in more AI animation tools, you might want to check out this video that I did on Runway ML's Gen 1, which is coming up in just a second. Okay, take care guys.